The title of this podcast is Using My Time for Something Constructive. Over the last few weeks, I have really been attentive to uh, how I use my time. And what has really made me take a look at that or increase my awareness about it has been, there's been some uncertainty. There have been some challenges that have really brought me to a choice, a choice of whether or not I would do things that would cause suffering. So when I say do things, I mean destructive behaviors, or if I'd use the, the opportunity to do something constructive. And there was a lot of uncertainty around it. There were other people, external things that were uh, that were factors. But the most important factor was me. Like, what was I committed to? I mean, I've said I am unconditionally committed to choosing the road that leads to peace. And... Um, I might not do it immediately uh, as I work through things, but that's the path that I want to be on. And so in past situation in, in in the past, the way I would have done something would have been quite different uh, long before the practice or just a few years into inside of doing the practice. Uh, I would have chose consciously or unconsciously to do something that was destructive with my time, especially during a period of uncertainty. Uh, or deep suffering. And those destructive behaviors would have been complaining, obsessive thinking, trying to run all kinds of scenarios, all those things that come from operating from a place of fear. Uh, ruminating would have been up there at the height. And most recently, there was a small bit of that, but very small. And I really tried to make sure that I stayed on the path that I'm committed to. And that is unconditionally working on myself, uh, not looking for external enemies in the form of people, but really being aware of what my mind was was uh, inclined to do when fear was was present, and taking the advice from some very wise people like Eckhart Tolle, Michael Singer, and others, I just chose to lean back and to release. And let those thoughts and the mind's behavior let it do what it's what it does, and just lean back and let it pass, and really try to stay rooted in what my deep commitment is, and that's to be conscious. And it's paid off. I was able to weather that storm, and and over time that that default setting, the pull of it, the, the seduction to complain, to ruminate, obsessive thinking, talking to other people, looking for agreement. That's that group of that started to relax because I was relaxing inside. The conscious part of me was remembering, was 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 in charge of me releasing and letting that go. And so when my mind would say something, I would just say no comment. And it would pass and it would settle down. And as the days pass, the grip of it became less and less. And where I am now, where I am completely peaceful. And I am super grateful for that. So it begs the question, whatever you're going through right now or experiencing in this moment in your life, personal life, professional life, how are you using your time? Are you using your time in a way that's going to have benefit? Like do something constructive in which you do your practice, you meditate, perhaps you even exercise, you get yourself rooted in nature, you practice acceptance and compassion or using your time like that, which has tremendous benefit in deepening your consciousness or are using the time very differently, destructive, as I mentioned, complaining, ruminating, obsessive thinking, casting blame, resisting, not giving people the benefit of the doubt or grace or even giving yourself grace. Mm -hmm. That's certainly one way 
to use your time. I hope you take the constructive route. Thank you.